All right, welcome back everyone. And today we have Zero Chill with us, and this is AJ. What's and up? you've probably seen him in past videos, possibly, I don't know, Panda Club. Oh, you see. Oh yeah, and we're gonna be showing you how to take a backpack, a standard Jan Sport backpack, and make it into a skateboard backpack. And as you can see, boom, it's just a standard one. We got this for like eight bucks at Plato's Closet. And yeah, we're gonna show you how to do this, and be sure to follow his channel because he's gonna be vlogging during this and showing you kind of behind the scenes. And yeah, let's get started. Let's do it. For this process, you're gonna need webbing, your Velcro, and we use about a one inch with Velcro, your scissors, your de-threader, and of course your bag. You're gonna start by measuring where you want your straps to go. We want more towards the top and right along the bottom. Be sure to make sure your points are lined up so your straps are straight. Then you're gonna start by de-threading where you put those marks. And then as far as de-threading goes, you're gonna to wanna to make it as wide as your Velcro. So whatever width Velcro you're using, that's how big a hole you wanna make. You're gonna to wanna to leave that bias tape on there because this will come in handy when you're sewing it back together. And go ahead and do this for the top two points and the bottom two points you marked. Once you de-threaded all your holes, then you're gonna to wanna to take your webbing and place that into the hole and stitch that on. And this is where you're gonna to wanna to take the bias tape and move that forward so it goes back together nice and smooth. Now you're gonna to wanna to repeat this process for the other holes.
And now we're gonna go ahead and trim the webbing and give yourself about an inch extra so that way you can fold it over and have a nice clean edge. Go ahead and grab your Velcro and cut out strips that line up with the webbing. Fold the end of the webbing over and then stitch that so you have a nice clean edge. And now you're going to want to take your Velcro, it doesn't matter what side, you want to place that on your webbing and sew around in a square. And we went ahead and used a zigzag stitch. You can use whatever stitch you want. Zigzag is kind of easy to go along the edge and get it stitched clean on. We definitely recommend sewing on your Velcro. Some Velcro comes with adhesive, but that really doesn't last long, especially for this use. Then repeat this process for the other set of straps and you should be good to go. All right, boom, so there you have it, your skate bag. And be sure to follow Zero Chill, check out his channel and the vlog he's doing. It's super awesome, so give him some love and- Please do, subscribe to the channel as well. Yeah, definitely, subscribe to both. Follow, like, comment, subscribe, everything. Look how sick this bag is. Boom. You wanna know how to do this. Yep, super easy, it literally costed us like 10 bucks. I mean, we just had to pay for the bag of these, and then you can get these at any fabric store, just webbing, and... and you course, can pick up um, any kind of bag you want at any kind of secondhand store, sure. so. And we will be giving this away, so stay tuned on that, and yeah. <laughs> well done. Boom. <laughs>